Hey, I'm Joel, and this is my prototyping device's zombie survival project, a laser tripwire activated low power railgun. Here it is in action. You can see me giving a riveting performance as one of the fragile zombies. Here it is from closer up. Now you might be asking, what exactly is a railgun? And does that really count as a gun? Well, a railgun is a device capable of accelerating conductive projectiles to incredible speeds using the Lorentz force, which is a force resulting in the interaction between electrical and magnetic fields. One rail is charged positively, and the other is charged negatively. A projectile is placed between the rails, effectively shorting the circuit. This draws a large current, which induces a magnetic field that points in the correct direction to create a force that pushes the projectile down the rails. Railguns can be pretty powerful. In fact, the US Navy has one. Although I'll admit my personal railgun is slightly less powerful, it should do plenty against zombies with the structural integrity of soap bubbles. Now, railguns require a lot of current to operate. At this scale, it was very difficult creating a working prototype. In fact, the only reason I was able to achieve any acceleration was because of these neodymium magnets. These magnets help strengthen the magnetic field between the rails, which helps the projectiles be pushed by a higher force. You can see here that I've built my rails using aluminum foil wrapped around some cardboard. The magnets I showed you earlier are placed under here. They are aligned right down the middle of the rails. To power the railgun, I used four D batteries. This equals about six volts, and luckily D batteries have low internal resistance. This allows a pretty high current to pass through the rails. The magnets, the D batteries, and a relatively low mass projectile help me achieve a decent bit of acceleration. Stability was also an issue, but by shortening the amount of usable rails, I was able to keep the projectile from spinning out of control. For the tripwire circuit, I used a phototransistor with a foil cone to detect the laser pointer beam. I also wanted to isolate the circuit from the railgun, since the railgun operated on high currents and very low resistance. I needed something to control the railgun using the Arduino, so I created this motorized arm to release the projectile onto the rails. I then programmed the Arduino to trigger the release arm whenever something blocks the razor. The Arduino is powered by 9 volts, which is regulated by VN to 5 volts, which then powers the components. I also added this piezo speaker to alert me of zombies, as well as potentially pop zombies with loud noise. To put it all together, I attached the motorized arm to the railgun. This gives the Arduino a safe means of activating the railgun without having to worry about a high current draw. Another added benefit of this design is that making moving parts makes me feel more accomplished. Now all that's left is mounting the device with a reef hanger and some rope. I can carefully set up the laser, and hang up the railgun and the receiver end of the tripwire. Run a few tests, and here it is. I should note that small aluminum foil pieces don't always make great contact, so there were a few times when the gun didn't fire when it should have, and did fire when it shouldn't have. But then again, that's why we have this annoying speaker to act as a backup. Anyway, that's how you spend many hours building a highly inefficient but effective method of dealing with embarrassingly weak zombies. Thanks for watching.